Kulkani here. In this unit, we are going to learn about stoichiometry calculations. We are going to go one step higher and find out how to convert moles into mass or moles into particles and vice versa. So let's begin. A mole can be also considered as an animal, not in chemistry of course, and I call mole as heart of chemistry. So we cannot just bypass that heart. We have to have all the conversions to go through mole, which is the important thing. Here is my simple roadmap for particles and mass. So look here, particles to mass is just one way road and there is no stop. So it's just simple direct flight. Same way moles to mass or mass to mole, there is no stop. It's non-stop flight there. And look what we have. We have molar mass between mass and moles. That's kind of our snack which we get. And then over here we have 6.022 10 to the 23rd which is Avogadro's number uh, and that's what we use at snack. So anyway, that's my way of interpreting the conversions and then keep in mind particles to moles or moles to particles, it's one half. Moles to mass, mass to mole is one half. If you're going to go from particles to mass, you cannot go directly from particles to mass. This is not allowed. We have to go from particles through moles and from moles to mass. Or if you're going to go from mass to particles, you go mass to moles and moles to particles. And we're going to make use of this molar mass and Avogadro's number in our conversions. Alright, so let's begin now. Our first problem is quite simple problem. It's asking you for lithium nitrate, how many moles are there in 28.7 grams. You can easily find out your road map is going from grams which is given through to the moles. It's only one step and lithium nitrate as you all know will be Li no 3 and we need to find the molar mass and I'm going to just give you the molar mass right now which is 68.93 grams. So how do we go from grams to mole in one step? Let's form our grid. Okay, Your beginning is grams and ending is moles. So I write grams and moles on the top of the grid and I had to make sure I want to answer in moles, I don't need that gram, so diagonally across, I am going to write grams there. Okay, that's my setup for the equation. You'll always begin with given on the left hand side corner, so it's 28.7 grams, and you're going to convert that to moles. So we make use of this theory here that one mole will be always equal to the molar mass. The mass of one mole is molar mass. So in this case, I write mole as one and if it says gram, that's actually the molar mass of lithium nitrate, which is 68.93 grams. And then it's simple. We cancel grams and then we simply do the algebra and when we solve that, we end up getting 0.416. So many moles. That was easy, right? Okay, let's do one more problem. This is moles to grams because we have been given 2.80 moles. That's my roadmap. Moles to grams. The molecule is oxygen and I want you to remind that is a diatomic so we write as O2. That means the molar mass for oxygen will be two times the atomic mass of one atom of oxygen which is 16, so that is 32 grams. Let's get to our grid. Like I said, we begin with our road map, whatever is given, we start with that, that's the end point, moles to gram is one step, so we are good, given is 2.80. We need to cancel moles, so diagonally across, we write moles there. And whenever it's moles to gram ratio, it's one mole 
and when it says gram there, it's a molar mass which is 32. So moles are cancelled and when you do the algebra math there, you end up getting the answer 89.6 grams as your final answer. Alright, let's do one more problem and that problem is little tricky. So what is given us given to us is 256 grams of a pure monoatomic element is given. Look at that. What it means is it is not a diatomic. It will not be O2, N2. It will be one atom element there. And this is given to you as moles 8.26. So what element are we talking about? And I just simply, I'm going to use that definition of molar mass. Molar mass is the mass of one mole. So it is the mass of one mole which actually I can write down as mass divided by moles. If I have the total mass and total number of moles and if I divide that what I get is mass per mole which is the molar mass. So what do we have? The mass is 256 grams and the moles are 8.8 choose 6 moles. So when we simplify that, I am getting the answer 30.99 and that is grams per mole. So you look at the periodic table and find out which element has that mass closest to 30.99 and you will find out that element is nothing but simply phosphorus P. So there you go. So these are some simple problems with convergence from moles to mass and mass to moles and how to find the unknown element. In next video, we will continue with moles to particles and particles to moles. Until then, bye.